column here, it tells you we budgeted three hours for each connector. And at the end, you know, the total hours spent for these workers was 189 hours to complete these 84 connectors, right? But if we had 84 and using the budgeted rate, three hours, what would be the budgeted hours, supposedly, for these 84 connectors? 252. So we see that in reality, they only spend 189 hours. Using the original rate, they should have spent 252 hours. So it's actually considered favorable to the business because they were more efficient in producing these products. Right, so here are the differences. We, now we know the hours differences. So you just use the actual hours minus the budgeted. And it's less, which means this is, means it's more efficient because you spend less hours on computing, on actually producing the same level of products and then use the number of hours times, again, the, the cost. So each hourly rate, the standard price was 17. Now again, we don't use the actual price because we readily capture price differences in price variance calculation. So here we're just capturing the efficiency part, the hours. So we use the original standard price. Okay, so there were 63 hours saving times $17, this is considered favorable. So the 189 was given to you, right? And then this part here, originally this is the standard hours. So from the problem, it tells you that originally each connector, they allow workers to use three hours to produce it, right? So this was the original rate, and this was the actual outputs. So supposedly, they could spend this much hours, this many hours. Any questions so far? I spent some time on reviewing this stuff because manufacturing overhead costs is really similar to this. So I want to continue on the same, um, same theory, same logic here. So you can actually get that part quicker. <laughs>